Hi guys, Stephanie here. So I just wanted to take a moment today to um, show you guys some of the instruments that I've picked up along the way since I've been playing Tin Whistle. Now, uh, the general progression is from Tin Whistle to Low Whistle. I know a lot of you guys will have done that. Um, there is a lot of difference in playing a Low Whistle because you need a different grip. Um, but yeah, if you do play a sixth hold, sixth? If you do play a six hold instrument, <laughs> then there are lots of alternatives out there you can try. Now, uh, one of the whistles I haven't reviewed because it's a newer one is my Sestato Oriole uh, B flat whistle. I don't know whether that's how you say it. Oriole? Oriole? I have no idea. Um, it's a PVC plastic whistle. It is tunable. It comes with a detachable head. Um, and yeah, it plays in a B flat. Now it's tin whistle size, but you do actually need a piper's grip because it's the lower end of the upper, the higher whistles. Um, so yeah, you do need to adopt the piper's grip on the bottom there. Now this has become one of my favorite whistles. Um, I actually got this on eBay because uh, it's an American maker. Um, so they, they're not that readily available in the UK. I have since found a UK stockist, so I'll list those below. Um, but this was about 25 quid on eBay. I think UK stockists uh, had a similar whistle around about 60 pounds. So yeah, depending on demand and the imports and taxes and duty fees on your country, then it might be expensive to get one of these, but uh, you guys will have heard how it sounds from a few of my videos. I'll give you a quick demo. If you want to go a little bit crazy and try whistles or six hold instruments from around the world, today I just received what is called a Bansuri. Again, apologies to my Indian friends for my dreadful pronunciation, but as far as I know, it's a bamboo flute um, with a fipple. So it's a Bansuri fipple. So it's got the same structure, the same mouthpiece as a whistle or low whistle. Um, the same holing system, just six holes on the front. It is very, very lightweight. Now guys, this was another eBay purchase. It was $12.99. I'll be honest, I wasn't expecting much. Um, I just wanted to get an idea of how it played. And I like to try out different instruments. Um, as I said, ridiculously lightweight. I'll be honest, it does feel like you're gonna break it. But, again, Piper's grip, uh, it sounds... Okay. As you can hear, um, what I found is that you need literally no breath whatsoever to get those low notes. So, although it plays in the upper octave ridiculously easily, um, it's quite tough to get the bottom note. And it plays really quietly. though. For $12.99, I mean, it actually plays. Now this is supposedly a G. I haven't tested the tuning. Um, it sounds okay. It doesn't sound wildly out of tune. Um, I've had tin whistles and low whistles that sound more out of tune when you first pick them up, so I, I'm pretty impressed with it. But anyway, um, it's a different style of instrument. It does have a different sound to it. but it is tough to get used to the difference in breath change. You wouldn't be able to play this um, along with other instruments because it's too quiet. 
but it's quite nice, uh, especially if you're working out your own compositions. It's quite a friendly one for the neighbours. <laughs> now, speaking of side blow flutes, this is a Chinese dizzy. Again, my sincere apologies for the pronunciation. I'm sure it sounds nothing like that. This was another eBay purchase. Again, this was around about 15, maybe 20 pounds tops. This is a bamboo flute. Um, it is exceptionally good quality for the price. Miles better quality than the Bansuri. Um, it feels sturdy, it looks amazing. It really does look and feel professionally made. Um, it, again, it comes apart, so it's tunable. Um, this one is supposedly a D, but the, the bottom note, I'm pretty sure, isn't a D. So, um, yeah. It obviously isn't tuned the same way as regular tin whistles. Now, there are lots of additional holes. There's two additional holes at the bottom, on the back. There's two additional holes at the bottom on the front. Um, you place your fingers like you do with a whistle, but you're blowing across the top hole here, just like a flute. Now there's an additional hole here, which you cover with a film. I've just taped this on, but it did come with um, proper sort of film to cover that, pro proper membrane and some glue to stick it on each time as well. I'm pretty sure you meant to renew that, but I'll be honest guys, this is really tough to get used to. Now, I presumed because it was a six hold instrument, I would be able to play it straight away, having played a whistle, and I was wrong. Um, it takes a lot of practice to get your mouth into the right position to get these notes sounding nice. So although I kind of start off okay, I start on my shoulder and then I move out. <laughs> it never sounds amazing. It's not good and I'll be honest I have kind of tried quite a lot. Now having uh, watched some YouTube videos about how to play flute it appears uh, the common misconception is that you kind of tighten your lips into a uh, concentrated blow space by making your lips smaller and that is incorrect. Apparently you need to kind of tighten your lips at the corners. Yeah it's really tough. It will take a lot more practice than just picking up and playing. But if you have time and if you want to stick with the same finger patterns and you'd like to try a side blow flute, I can definitely recommend a Dizzy. Pick one up on eBay for cheap, get used to the mouthpiece, and then go from there. Last but not least, this is a whistle, but it's actually a bass whistle. It's pretty huge. <laughs> it's a B flat, um, but it's a low B flat. So yeah, I don't even know if you guys can see the difference. B flat whistle, low B flat whistle. Genuinely nearly twice the size. Um, it's miles bigger than my D. The finger hole sizes are ridiculous. Uh, the finger spaces are completely outrageous. It is a sheer water. It cost me about £85. It sounds amazing, but I haven't had the time to get used to the finger spacing. So uh, yeah, it's kind of tough. And obviously you need really long arms. <laughs> I 
imagine this could sound pretty amazing. Um, it's still no more difficult or easier to play than any of the other whistles and flutes I've shown you today. <laughs> the reason I've shown you is because I've bought all these thinking that I could play them, pick them up and play them, and basically I can't play any of them. Obviously I can play the B flat susato, but essentially this is just a tin whistle. Um, the bansuri, very different breath requirements. The dizzy, very different mouth skill requirements. The bass whistle? Eh, you need huge hands, huge fingers, and really long arms. <laughs> so uh, yeah, just be careful what you buy. Um, I kind of get excited about whistles. I really, really enjoy playing them. I enjoy every time a new one comes in the post. Um, <laughs> Yeah, it's just a fun little video. <laughs> Show you guys the additional whistles and instruments I've bought. Um, it is fun to try and play them, but just be aware that it can be quite tough. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, if you do have any questions or if you'd like me to try any other similar instruments, include your suggestions below and I'll see what I can do. Uh, as always, thanks for watching. Stay tuned and I'll have some more awesome videos coming up soon. Thanks guys. Bye.